Welcome here to the Bradley Center on the campus of Ramapo College. It's Hudson Catholic and Don Bosco, and we're going to stay live right here for the playing of our national anthem. National Anthem before our nightcap here in the final game of the 2023 New Jersey Challenge presented by the front office. You're watching this game live via the D1 Media Pro page on the National Federation of High School Sports. I'm Kevin Connolly, joined alongside Mustafa Hooten. Let's take you live to the floor for starting lineups. First for the Hawks of Hudson Catholic. Number two, Maurice McKnight. At guard, a six foot sophomore. Number five, Omari Moore. At guard, a six foot one inch junior. Number 11, Alex Messa. At forward, a six foot five inch senior. Number four, Brian Benoit Diaz. And at forward, a six foot four inch sophomore. Number 15, Chaz Dubois. Maurice McKnight, Brian yeah, Petaway, goes, Diaz, Omari Moore, Alex Masson, and Chaz Dubois. Start for Hudson Catholic, starters, led by head coach Nick Marinello. Don Bosco. Now the starters for the Johnny Ironmen Edgar, of Don Bosco junior, Prep. Number zero, Isaiah Brown. At guard, a senior, number three, Evan Cabral. At guard, a senior, number five, Mark Karaspi. At forward, at senior, number one, Noah Barnett. And at forward, a sophomore, number 30, Brady Laughlin. So no and Dylan Don Harper Don tonight Bosco for Don Bosco. Area. That's our news starting this broadcast. Isaiah Brown, Noah Barnett, Evan Cabral, Mark Karasmi, and Brady Laughlin are the starters for head coach Kevin Diviario. As Don Bosco, they got Harper back yesterday for a win over St. Augustine. He scored 26 points in the victory, but he will not play on back-to-back -back days. And Mustafa, with the three players out in this game, almost like an all-star team. If you're picking an all-star team for healthy New Jersey boys basketball players, Dylan Harper, Tahad Pettiford, Elijah Gertrude would be on that roster. Absolutely. You know, we, uh, we saw Dylan Harper down in North Carolina, the John Wall Invitational, put on a clinic. So, you know, ever since then, I call him Dr. Dylan Harper. Still expecting to see him on Wednesday night against Roselle Catholic. Don Bosco playing Roselle Catholic Wednesday night inside the Lions Den at Roselle Catholic High School. And you can only watch that game live right here on D1 Media Pro. So get your subscriptions now because that one is going to be one you won't want to miss. The Lions Den anticipating a sellout. Ball is in the air. Hudson Catholic and Black, they win the tip. And then they throw it away and give it to the Ironmen. Don Bosco wearing the white. 15 and one on the year, only loss to Camden. They try to go inside to Noah Barnett and he hits it off the side of the backboard. As for Hudson Catholic, 
Last time out as they get on the board first with Brian Petaway Diaz. They dropped a heartbreaker at home, a one point loss to St. Peter's Prep, 57 56. Well, we've seen Hudson Catholic in a lot of close games this season, and that's, going to, that's only going to help them come playoff time. We got, got the county tournament and state tournament coming up in just a few weeks. Barnett, no good. Cabral gets it right back. He'll go right to the basket, and Evan Cabral on the board for Don Bosco. And, and every time we've had a Hudson Catholic game, we, we've told you about how the injuries to Pettiford and Gertrude, it's forced other players to step up and be in those leadership roles like Omari Moore and Maurice McKnight and Alex Masung. And a chance against this gauntlet of a schedule to make a name for themselves, and they certainly are here early on. But believe it or not, the player I want to see the most when I see Hudson Catholic is Mr. Jersey City, Antonio Sellers. And we wish him a speedy recovery, but I, I'm always touched whenever I see him on that Hussey Catholic bench. Well, he was on the bench when they played St. Peter's Prep, and before the game, he was out there getting shots up around the restricted area. So certainly, wow. oh, that's that's a, that's huge. Not only getting shots up, making shots around the restricted area. He was stuck on automatic there for a while before that game started. In between the JV and freshman games, before the varsity boys took the floor. The Hudson Catholic fell in that game, 57-56. One point loss to their crosstown rival, St. Peter's Prep. Number four team in the NJ.com top 20, having a great season themselves, led by head coach Alex Mirabel. Nick Marinello, though, he believes in this Hudson Catholic team, and Alex a large Masung. part of that is the man who just scored right there, Alex Masung. Yeah, Alex Masung, one of the players that stepped up big time this year. Never, you didn't hear, hear, about, hear his name until the season started. And now he, he's going to be one of the staples to look for in the following season. Noah Barnett throws it off the backboard. Can't get the shot to go, but he was fouled. Yeah, Masung, just a junior. Look, really, this entire Hudson Catholic wow, Hudson roster. Catholic 15, Besides Brian Petaway Diaz, they first. start all Keep underclassmen. Good. Omari Moore's a sophomore. Masung's a junior. Dubois is a sophomore. And our Maurice McKnight also a senior, but you're expecting to get the Hod Pettiford back next year if he does not return this year. It's unlikely that he'll return this year for the high school game. Probably see him next in his final AAU season on the EYBL circuit. But even if he doesn't come back, I think Hudson Catholic is in, in great, great shape. Yeah, they'll certainly be a force in the county playoffs with St. Peter's Prep, and you look at teams like Union City and North Bergen that are always scrappy, and then in non-public A, you never know what could possibly happen. Noel Barnett made both free throws, deadlocked at four, only before that made jumper, and Hudson Catholic is back on top. Dad, Dubois. Dubois with the alley-oop. No showtime, though. On the drive, and that will be called off because of a travel. Seen Don Bosco get off to slow start, specifically without Dylan Harper. What a nail-biter against Immaculate Conception last weekend on our network right here in the Dennis, Mem Dennis Gregory Memorial Classic from Caldwell University. That was without Harper. Mustafa, you were there on Thursday when they went on the road and beat Teaneck without Barnett and without Harper. So no, Dar Barnett played. Uh, oh, Isaiah Brown. Isaiah Brown Isaiah didn't Brown play. didn't play, so he, but he's again, back out on the floor. But again, jumped on him early. It was up 12-2 in the first. And Omari Moore hits a three-pointer, and Don Bosco wants to talk things over. It's 9-5 Hawks over the Ironmen. Hudson Catholic playing well here to start, and we'll be back right after this. Welcome back. Don Bosco calling a timeout. They trail Hudson Catholic 9-4 
and Hudson Catholic Mustafa, we're just talking about it during that break. They play as hard as anybody in the state, and they have an absolutely loaded schedule. Nick Marinello loaded their schedule thinking he was going to have to Han Pettiford and Elijah Gertrude at his availability before they both injured their knees in the first couple of weeks of the preseason. And, and Gertrude officially out for the year with a torn ACL in Pettiford. It's likely that he's not going to come back this season for Hudson Catholic. But they're 7-6 and six because of the competition they play. But they're not going to back down to anybody. They might have an off shooting night, but... They're going to play tough for a full 32 minutes as there's a three-pointer that goes That's from Mark Harasmi. Mark Harasmi. Well, Harasmi gets the three to go out of the timeout for Don Bosco. They're back within two of Hudson Catholic. Omari Moore gets stood up there by Cabral, throws it right at the foot of Omari Moore but missed him. And Hudson Catholic gets the possession right back. Omari Moore has hit one three. He's now hit two threes. That's a three-point basket by Mark Rathme. He's fouling his stroke early. Amari Moore was kind of bottled up against St. Peter's Prep. They did a good job controlling him, but he's gotten free for two three-pointers already here in this first quarter. Hudson Catholic off to a good start. If they want, if they want to win this game, they got to keep playing kickball. with intensity. That's going to be a kickball violation on Hudson Catholic. We'll stay with Don Bosco with 3.48 to play here in the first quarter. Recap of our previous three games here at the 2023 NJ Challenge. We had Riverdale come back and defeat Glenrock. Manasquan a comeback victory over Rutgers prep in. I guess you can say Blair also came back to defeat Ramapo as that game went back and forth throughout as there's a foul as Isaiah Brown's going to go to the free throw line. So really three outstanding games we've had in this no, year's edition of the New Jersey wild. Challenge. Yeah, absolutely. Big shout out to Pat Law and the front office staff seconds. for organizing such a great event. And, you know, we, we just we just covered, we covered a, lot of, a lot of a lot of great basketball events. We had the Essex Fest over at Westside High School with Jimmy Salmon, New Jersey Legacy, Hearts to Hands over at Roseau Catholic with Jimmy Chang, Fred Leo. So some great events, great causes, and working with great people. You know, these are family family oriented, you know, they're not thirty-five dollars to get in like some events I know. That's just ridiculous for high school basketball. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a pleasure broadcasting these games over the past couple of weeks. Go back to the Dennis Gregory Memorial Classic, go back to the New Year's jump off, all these great games that we've had just in this month of January alone. And we have another big time event on Friday night at Roselle Catholic. And Mustafa, I know this event, it means a lot to you. It's the Tom Sachs Memorial Tom Classic. It's a double header between Patterson Eastside and Gil St. Bernard's, as well as Roselle Catholic and Bergen Catholic. Yeah, Tom Sachs is someone who means a lot to me. One of our early supporters of D1 Media Pro when I was had eBay cameras and- Alex Besso. Uh, some really, really raggedy equipment, but you know, he believed in me, we made it work, and we built it up to where we are today. So looking forward to that event on Friday night. It's 6 Isaiah and 7.30 is the tip-off times as Isaiah Brown makes the layup, and then that ball gets deflected out of bounds off Don Bosco. It'll stay with Hudson Catholic, who has a one-point lead over the Ironmen with 2.48 to play here in the first quarter. And then obviously you're going to want to stick, quick, uh, stick with us into February and March as Masung hits a three-pointer because we'll have tons of action in boys and girls counties, tournaments, and obviously the state playoffs to come after that. So basketball season just only heating up here on D1 Media Pro. And this has been a good game, 17-13 with still two minutes to play in the first quarter as Noah Barnett working inside, wanted a foul call, but got Noah the shot Barnett. to spin home. Yeah, Noah Barnett, he, he's been tough inside. Uh, you know, him, him and Tahad, to, Tyler Tahada, they, they were in like a little dog fight the other night. Yeah, Tyler Tahada, a T-neck, Division I prospect. T-neck gonna surprise some people in that Bergen County tournament. We were, we were talking about during the Ramapo game how loaded Bergen County is as more misses that. You look at teams like Don Bosco and Teaneck and Ramapo and Bergen Catholic, and the list goes on up in Bergen County this year. They got some really good squads. Barnett battling Dubois down low. Dubois wins this battle, but he can't control the basketball. It'll be a jump ball 
and the arrow keeps Don it with Don Bosco. And t -Nick had a big win over Patterson Esau the other day. Yeah. I mean, we, we were there for the uh, MLK games at Patterson uh, earlier this week, and that outstanding game between Columbia and T-Neck. Oh, my God. That was just an incredible basketball game to get us started on that MLK day as Barnett goes to the basket and a chance for three at the line for Noah Barnett. Bellock, number four. Brian Petaway Diaz, that's his first team third. Basket was good by Noah 13 Barnett. foul He's on Hudson Catholic. Noah Barnett with six points early on. He can't make the free throw. So 17 all with 90 seconds to go here in the first quarter. So if Hudson Capital wants to come away with this win, it's going to be important for them to, you know, they got to take every possession series like it's the last one. You know, they, they, can't, they can't waste possessions like they did in this one with unforced errors. Yeah, travel there on Masung, gives the ball back to the Ironmen with a minute and 11 seconds left in this first quarter. Also want to give a special thanks to all those administrators here working at Ramapo College, allowing us, opening some doors for us to come up on this broadcast oh, perch as there's another We're travel call on travel. Barnett. It's really been a great vantage point that we've had watching these games here this afternoon. Oh, absolutely, man. Uh, I definitely want to come back to this venue. Under a minute to go here in the first quarter, tie at 17 between Hudson Catholic and Don Bosco Prep. Final game, the 2023 New Jersey Challenge presented by the front office. I just can't believe this day is almost over, man. We only got three more quarters of basketball after this. And these games have been flying by, but Omari Moore trying to put something special before we head back home. He's got eight points here Omar, in this first Omar quarter. Hudson Catholic by two. Cabral driving. Kick to a wide open shooter in the corner. That's Nassim Cosby. And he's got a three. No relation to Bill. Cosby. Cosby hits the triple. Don Bosco with their first lead today. They lead 29 to 19. We nearly had this much scoring combined in our first game through four quarters. <laughs> You're not exaggerating. Omari Moore, a three, got it oh. at the buzzer. That's and he point. is That's fired it. up. Hudson Catholic five, came Omari to play Moore. here against Don Bosco. They'll take a 22-20 lead the into the second play. quarter as we'll be right back here on D1 Media 22. Pro. The Ironman of... This high school gym used to be packed most nights. Not anymore. Do you know why? Because bad behavior by fans, especially adults, has caused a shortage of game officials across the country. You see, without officials, we can't have sports. Don't let this become reality. It's time for a change. Let's bench bad behavior for good. They, they, won't, they won't have it. Start of the second quarter here between Hudson Catholic and Don Bosco. What a start there for the Hawks against the Ironmen. Omari Moore 
a three-pointer to take us into the second quarter. I put Don Bosco behind, and then we got a foul called away from the basketball. Looks like it'll go on to Seam Cosby. Cosby. That is his first. Team first. Cosby's first, and Don Bosco's first in this first half. Yeah, rest for swallowing their whistle today. Yeah, we have, ha have not had a lot of foul calls in these games, and I mean, these games have moved along pretty smoothly because of it. Maurice McKnight on the drive, and we'll get another foul call on the floor. Foul goes on Isaiah Brown. Well, the Ironman number zero, Isaiah Brown. That is his first, team second. Masung on the handoff towards McKnight. Alex Masung got it still in a way. Oh, can we get There's showtime? Cosby, and he'll lay it in for two. I don't think Cosby could dump. No, I don't think so. He Cosby. Listed at 5'11 on the Don Bosco roster. At 5'11, if you're dunking, you need some major hops. Masung right to the basket and able to finish over Noah Brown. Alex Masung. And a timeout has been called by, called by the Hawks. I think they're going to get it. Hudson Catholic got the timeout and before the ball was timeout. inbounded. So Nick Marinella seconds. wants to go over some strategy with his team, who leads by two with 7.06 to go until halftime. This high school gym used to be packed most nights. Not anymore. Do you know why? Because bad behavior by fans, especially adults, has caused a shortage of game officials across the country. You see, without officials, we can't have sports. Don't let this become reality. It's time for a change. Let's bench bad behavior for good. What the hell is this? Hudson Catholic 24, Don Bosco 22. 7.06 left to go here in the second quarter. Kevin Connolly, Mustafa Hooten with you live here on the D1 Media Pro page on the National Federation of High School Sports. And Hudson Catholic has come to play here in this first half. And Nick Marinello calling a timeout, trying to set up his team's pressure defense. Cosby kicks it back out. Brown a three, no good. Cosby got his hands on the rebound, and he'll throw it back out to the top for Brown. Isaiah Brown, Brady Laughlin, straight on three, rattles in. That's a three-point basket by Brady Laughlin. Man, he's been having a great season too, man. You can't help but uh, take notice of him. He's only a sophomore, so he's coming back for the next two years. Yeah, Brady Laughlin has been impressive over these last couple of games. McKnight nearly carried the ball, able to get it back to find Omari Moore. Put it like this, if I, if I remember your name, that means you, you, you did something to <laughs> make me remember your name. Masung trying to direct traffic. Nothing going for Hudson Catholic here in this possession. McKnight, lazy pass, stolen away by Lachlan. Lachlan to the basket. Five straight points for Brady Lachlan. Brady Lachlan. So those are the little things that Hudson Catholic cannot do. They, can, they must take care of the ball if they want to come away with a, with a victory over Don Bosco. Blocking foul called down low on Cosby as Masung was driving to the basket. Foul the Ironman number 10. The same Cosby. That's his second. Team third. Javon Ramford sat, comes into the game. Another freshman. He'll replace Chaz Dubois. Cosby to the bench for Don Bosco. McKnight just throws it right off the body of Isaiah Brown. Gut shot. Yeah, got hit right in the midsection. It'll stay Hudson Catholic ball on the baseline. That might have been planned by McKnight. <laughs> I'm trying to knock the wind out of him. So again, Hudson Catholic to inbound to Omari Moore in the corner, and he's fouled on a three-point attempt. Kevin DeVario not happy with the call, well, the five, but Omari Moore is going to the line to shoot three free throws, 
on the he foul won. on Mark Harasmi. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not a lip reader. Omari Moore at the line for three shots. Omari Moore at the line, two shots. Three shots. I, I think it was 3-2, and they just announced two. Well, he misses the yeah, first, three shots. and now he just makes the correction, three shots. If you're just joining us, obviously, could be confused around the three-point arc. There's three separate arcs here at the high school level playing the maroon one as Moore hits that free throw. So it's the maroon arc, the middle arc on the three-point line and look, both ends of the floor. If they're watching us, I want to say thank you because they could be watching the NFL. That's very true. Yeah, so if they're watching us, that's huge. Shout out to Darrell White. I know he's tuning in. He don't care about no NFL football. Omari Moore goes one for three from the line. Brings Hudson Catholic back within two of Don Bosco. Rampert sat battling with Barnett down low. Back out with Isaiah Brown. Brown with McKnight on him. Over to Harasmi. Harasmi battling against Omari Moore. Down low for oh, Barnett. Wild he, shot, no good. He wanted to throw that one down. He was about to cock back the hammer. Masung somehow gets it back for Hudson Catholic. He goes to the basket, no call. Petaway, Diaz, and Masung collide into each other. Maurice McKnight got it stripped away on the sideline, but out of bounds. Last touch by Evan Cabral, and it'll stay with Hudson Catholic. Mari Moore inbounds to Masung. Now it's with McKnight. Right back to Moore. Moore driving. Kick Petaway Diaz. Not known as a three-point shooter. An air ball there. Omari Moore battling for it. And it's saved on the baseline by Brown. Walklin gives it up for Brown. 4.35 left to play here in the second quarter. Don Bosco, a two-point lead against Hudson Catholic. Brown driving, finger oh, roll goes. Moves. Isaiah Brown's Isaiah got Brown. six points for Don Bosco. So I'm Hudson Catholic. I still got to stay patient with my office and just play the right way. Don't force anything. Don't force anything. Let it come to you. They trail by four with under four minutes to play in the second quarter. Martin Knight nearly had another pass thrown away. Rampert Sack gets it right back. There's Maurice McKnight, senior point guard for Hudson Catholic. Rampert Sack sets a screen. McKnight to the basket. That was altered by Barnett near the rim. Rasmi Cabral right down the lane. Can't get it to go. And the rebound to Masung. Masung looking to drive and dribbled it too far out in front of him. Don Bosco with it. Two on one. Lachlan with the finger roll. Strong second quarter here for Brady Ready Lachlan. Lachlan. We got a six point game. A little over three minutes to go here. And the quarter. Here's Omari Moore working on Harasmi. Moore driving. Wild shot, no good, but he's fouled. Now he was bailed out by the referees on that on that offensive set right there. Because it, everyone on Hudson Cap was just standing there watching now, Omari Moore high instead high of high moving high without high the ball. That's and, and that's what drives Coach Marinelli crazy. You're gonna hear him screaming, move! Omari Moore at the line for the Hawks. Well, Omari Moore going to the line. Shot. He was just one for three from the line, but now he goes back to the stripe for two shots. Maury Morris hit three three-pointers in this first half. Now we get a look at another freshman, Elijah Williams, into the game for Hudson Catholic. Oh, Elijah Williams, oh, that's the, that's the, that's the kid with the big hair. Yes. Number 23. Moore 
One for two from the line, so Omari Moore is struggling at the free throw line here in this first half. He's about, this kid Elijah Jones, he's about 4'11 with hair, without the hair, and about 5'7 with it. Hudson Catholic going to go 2-3 zone, try and give Don Bosco a new look. Malik Shepard in the game for the Ironman as well. They work it down low when they beat the zone with Evan Cabral. Fundamental backdoor action. And a timeout is called by Hudson Catholic. It's their second of this first half. 2.25 left to play Ball in the out, second ball quarter. Ball. Don Bosco has opened up a 33-26 lead against Hudson Catholic. Two twenty-five left to play here in the second quarter. Don Bosco has opened up a 33-26 lead on Hudson Catholic. Kevin Connolly, Mustafa Hooten with you. Live here on D1 Media Pro, Nick Marinello just called his second timeout of the game. Don Bosco locking in on Hudson Catholic defensively and making offense tough to come by here for the Hawks. So a little over two minutes remaining here to, in the quarter. And you want to just try to finish the quarter on a strong note. Ramperts that finds a cutting Masung right into the body of Barnett and couldn't get it to go. Strong rebound by Barnett. Now it's Isaiah Brown. Cabral was open on the wing, but passed up the three. Hudson Catholic back in a man-to-man. -man. And Barnett's calling for it inside. Battling with Dubois. Now he'll set a screen. Still can't get on the basketball. Brown, tough mid-range shot and got it to go. Isaiah Brown. Isaiah Brown. Starting to fill up the score sheet. He's got eight here in this first half. And a nine-point lead for Don Bosco, their largest lead today. And Amari Moore is fouled out on the perimeter by Malik Shepard. Well, they are at number four. Malik Shepard. That's his first. Team six. Six-team foul on Don Bosco. So free throws the rest of the way for Hudson Catholic, but only 90 seconds left to go before halftime. Elijah Williams with the basketball now. Freshman point guard for Hudson Catholic. Williams driving, baseline pull up, oh. spun out. It's a nice look though. Down low, Barnett, two feet in the lane. A lot of contact, no foul, but he gets the basket to go. Barnett. And Don Bosco creating some separation now between them and Hudson Catholic, they lead by 11. No, by now, he's just a grown man down there. He's, he's a man playing amongst boys. Only four points in this second quarter for Hudson Catholic. A oh. foul is called as Masung took a hard hit to the deck. And Barnett jumped on the shoulders of uh, Laughlin. Foul the Ironman. Now Alex Masung will go to the free throw line. Hey, big shout out to Real Refs in New Jersey, Dennis Wells. He just checked in. Foul the Ironman number 30. We, we appreciate all your support. Shout out to all the referees Team across seven. the state of New Jersey. We've had some some of the best refs in New Jersey here today yeah, we throughout saw, these four games. We saw uh, Fred Leo, Troy Stevens, Richard Jefferson, a.k.a. Keith Davis. Masung makes the first free throw. That's at the line. He's got one more Catholic coming. has struggled from the line here in this first half. Trying to end the second quarter on a positive note like they did the first. Hudson Catholic led 22-20 to 20 
at the end of the first quarter. And another ref doing this game, Rodney Robinson, another referee highly respected amongst his peers. Two for two from Masung at the line. 43 seconds remain here in the second quarter. Up ahead, Lachlan. Sends it across for Shepard, back to Lachlan. And hands there to Barnett. Oh, that's a nice feed right inside, and the finish for Evan Cabral. Evan Cabral. Don Bosco doing this without the services of Dylan Harper here today. Returned from injury, had not played since January 12th in Don Bosco's win over Bergen Catholic. He played yesterday against St. Augustine, scored 26 points in Don Bosco's win. No Dylan, no problem. They, they, this is a very well coached, fundamentally sound team. Elijah Williams for three, no. The follow by Ramperts at no. Ball still loose. Don Bosco controls. Lachlan with a heave. It's no good. And that takes us to the They're end the of score. the first half. Don Bosco the dominates the second quarter. Nine. They outscore Hudson oh, Catholic Hudson in that Catholic second 20. quarter, 19 to 6. We head to halftime with Don Bosco in front. 39-28 over Hudson Catholic. We'll step aside for our halftime break and be back for the second quarter, or second half, I should say, right after this here on D1 Media Pro. He's going to take it himself for a championship. Oh. A, a double play wins it for three. Turn it to the end zone. What a catch. The guy is on top of it.
This high school gym used to be packed most nights. Not anymore. Do you know why? Because bad behavior by fans, especially adults, has caused a shortage of game officials across the country. You see, without officials, we can't have sports. Don't let this become reality. It's time for a change. Let's bench bad behavior for good. Looking to work in. There's a stutter step. He lines up, and we're tied at three. Camacho with six. Armstrong the steal. All by himself. Take flight. Mark Armstrong. Oh, that's how the third quarter ends with an exclamation point from the Villanova bound senior. Last minute of play here in the first period. Marauders walk in at the circle. They'll send one in. They score! Oliver Harag gets the Marauders on the board. With 56 seconds left to play in the first period. Walk in here. Payoff pitch is smoked out to left. Rapinski gives Prep a 2-0 lead. He took the payoff pitch and belted it way out of here. The designated hitter stays hot for the Marauders and preps up by two. Thomason, handoff has room. He's got the first down, he stays on his feet. Thomason dies, touchdown! First title since 2016. Phillips with numbers three on one, the finish, and a four-point Pirate lead. Pitch is hit in the air, right field. Reed going back on it, he's still back. He's looking up and at one hopped up against the wall. On his way to score his Harcourt, heading to third is Sprock. He'll put the brakes on and scamper back to second base. There's a shot and a goal! Charles Giordano to put Seton Hall prep up two. And they're 537 over up by two. They have a two on one. The puck is jarred free. Mendoza scores! The puck was knocked free right to the stick of Rocco Mendoza. And it's 4 1 Pirates. And they go to the air again, and they. Gordon, back to pass, going to throw a deep ball, far side, caught, touchdown! Touchdown, Nasir Addison on the reception, and Irvington jumps out on top, it's 6-0 Blue Knights. 9-0-1 left to go here in the first quarter. Oliver from the shotgun. 
takes the snap. It's a passing play. Go work easy to Phillips. Phillips got a lot of yards. He's to the 20, 10, 5, touchdown. He drops back. Little pressure. He comes up. He throws it deep. And it's a flag on the play. Along with the reception. A lot of time to make a play. Third down and long. There's a pass play. And it's intercepted. Eric Perez with the pick. Can he go to the house? He lost the ball. He recovered it. What's the sign? Smothers. That's Mother saying, look at look at him go. He just broke through the whole defense. That's right. why. He looked like he going to take that to the house right there. That's a touchdown. He didn't even come. Touchdown hey, Cougars. That's, a, that's the most dynamic play I've seen all year. Three, <laughs> Welcome back. Start of the third quarter here between Hudson Catholic and Don Bosco. Prep the Ironmen with a 39-28 lead over Hudson Catholic here in the 2023 New Jersey Challenge presented by the front office. I'm Kevin Connolly, joined alongside Mustafa Hooten. We thank you for joining us here on this Sunday afternoon and sticking with us for all four games here at Ramapo College. Our first game saw Riverdale take down Glen Rock in a low-scoring barn burner. Our second game was a top-20 matchup between Manasquan and Rutgers Prep. Manasquan pulled off the comeback victory to win by 10 against the Argonauts. And then our last game went right down to the wire. A couple of missed shots by Ramapo in the final 10 seconds gave Blair the one-point victory. And now it's Don Bosco with an 11-point lead after a dominant second quarter against Hudson Catholic. We see what Coach Marinelli drew up during, during the halftime. Half time. See if these boys can battle back because Hudson Catholic, don't sleep with these kids. All right, man. Don Bosco basketball to start the third quarter and we are underway in our final half of basketball here in the 2023 New Jersey Challenge as Brady Laughlin misses a three-pointer. I got to find out who the contact for this Bergen County tournament. I got to find out who runs it. Certainly going to be a loaded Bergen County tournament field this year. Dubois oh, travel as he tried to pull up on the elbow. In fact, let me let me let me hit Steve Tober now. Steve Tober would know. Yeah, he was sideline chatter. Now Steve Tober, he's the godfather of high school sports media. When I was in high school, he was doing suburban cable TV three and uh -huh. you know, he 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 called my name a few times. <laughs> you know. A few tackles here and there. Trapped on the sideline is Isaiah Brown, and a timeout was called by Don Bosco to avoid any further trouble. 39-28, just underway here in the third quarter. Back after this on D1 Media Pro. Welcome back, Don Bosco, burning a timeout early here in the second half after Isaiah Brown was trapped on the sideline. Both teams with three timeouts remaining, 7.14 to go here in the third quarter. And Mustafa, obviously all eyes this week turning to Wednesday's matchup between Don Bosco Prep and Roselle Catholic at Roselle Catholic. 7 p.m. start, and you can only watch it live right here on D1 Media Pro as Noah Barnett misses on the reverse, rejected by Petaway Diaz, but the persistence by Evan Cabral. Evan Cabral. Yeah, Dylan Harper is not confirmed for Wednesday, but if I was a betting man, I would think he's playing. And you're going to have the Watson brothers going against their former team. So it's, you know, it's going to be a good one. And a matchup between two of the top three teams in the NJ.com Top 20. Roselle Catholic still ranked 
at number one. Don Bosco ranked third in the latest top 20 poll here in New Jersey. Hudson Catholic comes in at number 19. Omari Moore missed the jumper there. And now Mark Harasmi looking to run for the Ironmen. But I would agree with you, Mustafa. I think it might be safe to say Dylan Harper would play against Roselle Catholic on Wednesday night. He did play yesterday against St. Augustine. It was a win for Don Bosco. And just maybe working him back from injury a little bit. He missed about a week. Maybe to not want to risk a re-injury and put him out there in back-to-back -back days. No, he's, he's going to be fine. And we got to dress, dress him as Dr. Dylan Harper now. <laughs> because he, the, 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 the clinic he, he's put on... He, he, he's a doctor. He's a surgeon. One more free throw for Noah Barnett. And he gets the shot to fall. So Don Bosco continuing to expand on its lead. It's now 42-18. It was 22-20 in favor of Hudson Catholic at the end of the first quarter. But it's been all Don Bosco since. Yeah, I hope that name sticks. Dr. Harper. Doc, Dr. Dylan Harper. My pass sails out of bounds. Another turnover for Hudson Catholic. Matter of fact, I might go patent that this weekend. Get ahead of the game. <laughs> oh. There's Isaiah Brown getting into the lane. Now dropping it back out for Harasmi. Rossmi on the drive, tough shot, no good, and it's tipped out of bounds by Barnett. So Bergen Catholic up 14 now. How, how, how'd that come about? They've locked in defensively, Don Bosco has, in their offense. They've been patient, and they've done stuff like this. Down the other end. And that should be a goaltend on Alex Masung, and it will be. Masung the goaltend, give the two Brown. points to Isaiah Brown. Yeah, uh, Brown comes up with the steal on McKnight and gets the uh, goaltending. And it has been all Don Bosco here in this one, showing why they're the third best team in New Jersey, according to the NJ.com writers, as Alex Masung responds with a mid-range jumper. He's definitely stepped up big time this season. Alex Masung. Down low, Barnett controls, but he traveled first. So wave off the two for Noah Barnett. Mustafa, that looked like another case of he was ready to throw down a dunk he knew he had the space, but just didn't catch the pass cleanly. Yeah, he got happy feet there. He's been looking for a big dunk throughout this game. He hasn't found one yet. Masung again at the elbow, can't get the roll, comes to Lachlan. Lachlan, down low, there's Barnett, the turnaround. And when he gets two feet under the basket, nearly impossible to stop. Impossible. And again, like, no Dylan, no problem, because they, they could just feed Barnett all night, and you, you literally cannot stop him. And you still have two capable senior guards in Evan Cabral and Mark Harasmi as Masung can't get the roll. Cabral, outlet pass, Harasmi off the window, and there's the big dunk uh -oh. Noah Barnett was looking Noah for. Barnett. That's going on the ground. Give the hockey assist to Evan Cabral. The basketball assist goes to Mark Harasmi. And then it's Noah Barnett who dropped the hammer off the window. Timeout called by Hudson Catholic. Don Bonsko up by 18 with under four minutes to go here in the third quarter.
back here at Ramapo College. Don Bosco has opened up a 48-30 lead. The most recent, a showtime dunk by Noah Barnett as Mark Harasme threw it to him off the window. And you're going to see that a little bit later on tonight on the social media channels of D1 Media Pro. That's D, the number one Media Pro, like you see right there on your screen on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Twitter Snapchat, Snapchat, TikTok. TikTok. Any, any social media platform out there, just search D1 Media Pro and you'll find all the highlights, our best highlights from our games that we broadcast. Javon Rampert's at trying to feed it down low. They got it over Barnett, but on the weak side, Isaiah Brown comes up with the steal. Harassman kicks it back out. Laughlin looks good and he's got it. And he's That's on your He's on your softball, Kevin. Lachlan. He's got two three-pointers here in this game. He's up to 10 points. Nah, he's had a great season. And it's a 21-point lead for the Ironmen. Rampert set, answers with a three of his own. He's a freshman too. And we have not seen a lot of Javon Rampert set, especially shooting the basketball from distance, but smooth looking Javon shot there from the Hudson Catholic freshman. I think as the season goes, long, goes on, he's gonna get his sea legs under him and get more confident in his shot. Foul going up there. For Isaiah Brown, he'll go to the line to shoot two. And I, like even Rapper said, I, I see the little things every 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 game. I, like I've seen Hudson Catholic quite a few times this year, so I, I see the potential in a lot of these young players. Yeah, I mean, kind of just being thrown to the wolves this year. They're battling, but again, we talked about this really tough Hudson Catholic schedule that Nick Marinello created, and to no fault of his own. I mean, he can't predict the injuries to his two best line. players. So but these Hudson Catholic players, they're going to be better for this, this schedule, this experience that they're getting at this level at such a young age for a lot of these players. Yeah, with, with, with or without Tahad Pettifer and Elijah Gertrude, before they came, Hudson Catholic played the who's who. After they leave, Hudson Catholic will continue to play the, the who's who. So not, nothing really changed. They're just two players from the program, two great players, but again, it just gives an opportunity for someone else to step up. Now we get to see the likes of Alex Masung and uh, you know a lot of the other young young players. Uh, I mean, Omari, Omari Moore. He's had a strong game. 2:45 left to go here in this third quarter, and Don Bosco back up by 18, led by as many as 21 here in this one. I just look forward to seeing a lot of these kids develop and, and, and could, could come back and compete next year. Don't transfer to another school, try to go to overtime, because those kids that went to overtime, I never heard from them ever again. Travel We're in the corner on the seam, Cosby. Under two and a half to play here in the third quarter. That ball knocked out of the hands down low of Chaz Dubois. We'll stay with Hudson Catholic on the baseline. Kev, you know when I was little, my parents would never let me grow my hair like Elijah Williams. <laughs> as bad as I wanted to. Omari Moore fouled again on a three-point attempt. Second time today, Moore's been fouled while attempting a three-pointer. And you see the expression there from Kevin DeVario. He's pulled out his hair. Yeah, he's, he's befuddled for the second time today that Omari Moore's been fouled on a three-point attempt. When Moore was fouled on a three-point attempt in the first half, he went one for three from the line. So again, the little things they're gonna work on in the off season. He's gonna come back next year and be a ninety percent free throw shooter. Mark my words. Well, he'll have one more if he misses the second. It's like when you miss a foul shot. It's it's like it's almost as bad as a turnover. Yeah, a chance to score for free just about. He goes two for three from the line this time. Under two to play here in the third quarter. 
I think you mentioned Antonio Sellers was at the uh, Hudson Catholic St. Peter's game. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was there sitting on the Hudson Catholic bench. I, I, I tell you, whenever he's at a game, he just gives that team a different energy. I mean, they played their hearts out against St. Peter's Prep. No team led by more than seven points. And it really went right down to the wire. And St. Peter's Prep just literally scored one more point than Hudson Catholic did. Look, if he, if he was here tonight, this would be a two-possession game. 134 remaining here in the third quarter. Don Bosco comfortably up by 16. Oh, look, look, at, look at this matchup. Who has the better hair? Mark Harasme or Elijah Williams? Harasme backing Williams down low. Out to Lachlan, who's got to step on Masung. Couldn't get the layup to go, though. Rampart sat with the help defense. Now Omari Moore trying to run. Double dribble. And a foul is oh, going to be called. Foul. They're going to get the foul first on Evan Cabral. Now on the Ironman number three, Evan Cabral. That's his first, team second. The first foul on Cabral. Just the second team foul here for Don Bosco in this third quarter. Masong to the hole. And he gets it to go. Alex Masong having a really strong game here for Hudson Catholic. Alex Masson with the basket. And Hudson Catholic trying to make things interesting here. They can do so with a strong final minute. Only down 14, so they want to try to get within 10 to start the fourth quarter. Yeah, if you can get a stop uh, and a three maybe to end this quarter, here you can tuck yourself right back in it. Cosby backing down Dubois. Wild shot, no good. Rebound loose on the deck. Fought for who touched it last. Elijah Williams did. It'll stay with Don Bosco. Battling Mensa for the rebound. Barnett's going to check back in. Cosby will have a seat. Mensa will have a seat. So I think this might be a defensive substitution here. Don Bosco inbound from the sideline right in front of their own Office bench. Substitution, rather. Lachlan oh. up and under the finger roll. They wave it off. He traveled. So there's the stop for Hudson Catholic. Now can they get something going offensively? 25 seconds left. You'd assume they want to hold for one. A three would be huge. It would get them within 11 with eight minutes to play. Elijah Williams on the handoff. There's Rampert set. Now it's Masung. Trying to get Omari Moore free. He comes to the basketball at six. Omari Moore looking to drive. Backing his way into the lane. Williams calling for it. Dubois down low. Got it rejected. The follow is no good. And it's Don Bosco in front. 51-37 at the end of three quarters. Willie we'll back at the start of the fourth quarter right after this here on D1 Media Pro. Once again,
Start of the fourth quarter here between Don Bosco and Hudson Catholic. It'll be Hawks ball to start this fourth quarter. Eight minutes left. Mustafa Hudson Catholic had a chance to get a little bit closer, but they couldn't get an offensive bucket to fall at the end of that third quarter. Only trailing by 14, but they just turned the ball over. Yeah, Lachlan devoured him a sung pass. Now it's Isaiah Brown who gives up to Mark Karasmi. You know, as I said earlier, like Hudson Cavs can't compete, but they got to do the little thing. They got to take care of the ball. They can't turn it over, and they got to make wise decisions. And Lachlan hits his third three of the game. And Lachlan made him play. Brady Lachlan showing out. 17-point lead. Back down oh, nice the other move. way, Chaz Dubois, the answer for two. He's a sophomore, I believe, right? Yes, Dubois, a sophomore on this Hudson Catholic team. Last basketball number 15, Chaz Dubois. Brown. Travel. Right. Whistle right. called for a travel. Dubois backing down Lachlan. Hands to Elijah Williams. Now it's Alex Masung. Javon Ramperts at driving. Can't get it to go. Loose ball on the deck. Don Bosco comes away with it. Rasme up ahead for Lachlan. Running the floor. Barnett one dribble. And he's fouled. Oh, Noah Barnett's eyes got wide as he came down the lane. But Ramperts at got him from behind. Yeah, he's definitely not afraid. He not, he's not afraid to throw one down. That is his first team third. Bosco well in command right now. Up 15. Barnett knocks down the first. No, Barnett at the line. He's got one more coming. Got Noah Barnett unofficially down for 13 points for Don Bosco. Make it 14 as he's two for two from the line. Once again, want to just give a special thank you to Pat Lawless and the rest of the front office staff. Hudson Catholic calls a timeout. Also, a special thanks to those here at Ramapo College letting us come up onto their broadcast perch and bring you these four games here in the 2023 NJ Challenge presented by the front office here on the National Federation of High School Sports. Timeout on the floor. Hudson Catholic burns their penultimate timeout with 6.22 left to go here in the fourth quarter. We'll step aside for a break and be back right after this. How much time? Hudson Catholic with one timeout remaining here. Nick Marinello coaching until the final buzzer. 6.22 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Recap of our three games already completed was a low-scoring affair in our noon game between Riverdale and Glenrock, but it was entertaining, especially in that fourth quarter. Riverdale getting the victory over Glenrock. Our second game between two top 20 teams in Manasquan and Rutgers Prep. Manasquan was down by as many as 11 in that first half. They came back to pick up the 10-point win and then just a fantastic game between Ramapo and Blair that went back and forth, and Blair comes away with the one-point victory. Elijah Williams, his first points of the night yeah, on the Elijah floater in the lane. The also, we also had a game in Rosa Catholic. I don't know if that's a final yet. It is a final, and it was a whole heck of a lot to a whole heck of a little. Roselle Catholic beats Timber Creek. So the Lions keep their winning streak rolling as they turn their sights to Wednesday's showdown against Don Bosco. Once again, 7 p.m. Wednesday night. 
Roselle Catholic and Don Bosco Prep inside the Lions Den at Roselle Catholic. Oh, oh what a block there by Barnett. A meeting at the summit with Chaz Dubois. I'm going to have to put that one up, too. That was, that was impressive. And then Cabral with the finger roll down the other end. Evan Cabral. You can only watch that Roselle Catholic Don Bosco game live right here on T1 Media Pro. Seventeen point lead for the Ironmen over Hudson Catholic. Amari Moore on the drive and he's fouled on the way up. Foul the Ironman number five, Mark Erasmian. And that is his third. Team third. Amari Moore at the line. So Amari Moore. Was shooting too. Knocks down the first. We'll see Malik Shepard come back in as Mark Haras may get a check out. Would imagine his evening might be done with this game seemingly in hand. 16 point advantage for Don Bosco with five minutes left to play as Moore hits the second. Now he will check out as Ahmad Torrance will come in for Hudson Catholic. First time we're seeing Torrance here today. Now, if I'm Hudson Catholic, I'm taking this as a sign of disrespect. It's still, it's still a lot of, lot of basketball left, so I'm going to try to press these young players, get some turnovers, and cut this to within 10. Well, Lachlan's still out there. He can't hit the three. Barnett got stripped on the way up, but still controlled it and finished. Noah Barnett. Noah Barnett is a beast around the basket. You know, he, he's tough on the glass. They don't run a lot of plays for him, so he, he, go, he, get, he gets his off the glass. Torrance down low, and Dubois is fouled by Lachlan. Foul the Fifth foul on Don Ray Bosco. Baseline out of bounds for Hudson Catholic. Got to get it in. They do to Dubois. Barnett. Gets called for the trip. Now the Ironman number one, Noah Barnett. That's his first, team fifth. Evan Cabral will check out. Kinnear Asparilla into the game for Don Bosco. First time we've seen him as Torrance gets it into Dubois in the corner. Freshman forward. Kinnear Asparilla out there as Masung goes right at him and gets fouled. Asparilla listed at seven Bobby foot tall four, on the Shepherd. Don Bosco roster, number 50 that in white. Second, team six. Barnett listed at six foot nine. Tough to tell from here, but yeah, he towers over Chaz Dubois, listed at 6'4". Wow, this, and he, he has such a baby face, too. He, what is he, a freshman? Yeah, he's a freshman. Oh, he's such a baby. Not not a not a baby, but you know, yeah. he's young. Baby face assassin. Yeah. Masung misses the first free throw. So if you get some coordination and you know, hit that weight wrong, he might be a beast in the next year or two. But seven foot is seven foot. Can't teach height. Nope. Sung one for two from the line. Surprised Hudson Catholic not picking up full court. Now they are with under four and a half to go. And down by 16. But not really pressuring. On the drive all the way to the basket. And getting the roll is Isaiah Brown. Isaiah Brown. What, who does Hudson Catholic have coming up this week? Uh, we'll take a look at their upcoming schedules. Another foul will be called on Asparilla. And Hudson Catholic, this game doesn't turn around. They'll drop to 7-7 seven and seven on the season. They travel to Bayonne on the 24th. And then they're supposed to host Dwight Englewood on the 30th. That's another tough game. Yeah, Dwight Englewood. And then they're supposed to host St. Rose, it looks like, on February 2nd. Whoa. And also a game against St. Mary's Rutherford and Roselle Catholic. So schedule doesn't lighten up for Hudson Catholic coming down the stretch. No days off for Hudson Catholic. And that's going to be an inbounds violation on Don Bosco. 
402 remaining. Sixteen point game. Well, the Hawks will get the basketball back after those two made free throws plus the inbounds violation on Don Bosco. Midway point of this fourth quarter. Elijah Williams. Finds Ramperts that nice feed down low. There's the rejection from Asparilla. Oh, they were trying to get it to him. He was wide open, running the floor down the lane. But Don Bosco slowing things up here with just under four minutes to play. Masung pokes that one away from Brown. Brown will get it back in the backcourt. Now it's Malik Shepard. Back to Barnett. They're trying to get the big man of touchdown low. And Kanier Asparilla. Feed the big, feed the big. alley -oop, come on. They'll go down low instead, a three-point opportunity for Isaiah Brown. That was selfish to Isaiah Brown. He's supposed to toss that up to the big man. Isaiah Brown now a chance for three at the line with 3.13 left to go here from Ramapo College. He's at the line, one shot. One shot. You only get one shot. And he makes his one shot. Push to lead, back to 19. Ahmad Torrance on the drive, back out for Alex Masung. Three minutes left to play here in this fourth quarter. So this is like our only blowout tonight. Yeah, all our other games were hotly contested. Ramperts at a three, no good. The big man with the rebound, got it taken away by Dubois, who goes up for two. Dubois. And a timeout has been called. Or was it called, or was it a foul? No, it looked like it was a foul. Foul called underneath on Hudson Catholic. Noah Barnett's day is done. He checks out. William Mensa comes back in. Noah Barnett might be the one, one of the most underrated bigs in New Jersey right now. Absolutely. The senior forward for Don Bosco had himself... An outstanding afternoon here at Ramapo College. Walkland had a good afternoon. He passes up and then a trip as Masung got tied up with Malik Shepard. Now the host number 11, Alex Massa. Shout out to Brian Coleman and Carissa McKnight here in attendance watching their baby. Foul. And, you know, for this is my first time coming to Ramapo. I definitely want to come back. Beautiful campus. The big man gets this two-point down low. Kainier Asparilla. He, he's in the books. He's in the books now. And yeah, again, once again, thank you to Pat Lawless and the front office staff and all those here at well, Ramapo well, College. As there's a foul well, down well, low. Well, It'll go an offensive seven. foul on Hudson Catholic against Alex Masung. That's a seventh team foul on the Hawks. So free throws the rest of this game for Don Bosco, which just has two minutes and 10 seconds left in it. And high school series, you may want to come take a look at Ramapo, man. It's a great campus, great facilities here. Mensa rising okay. and finishing off the window. Vic, oh, not Vic Mensa, that's a rapper. William Mensa. That's called Mensa. Oh, it took him. Ramperts at uh. driving. Can't get the shot to fall as Lachlan controls the rebound and Isaiah Brown will slowly walk the ball up the floor for the Ironmen who match their largest lead tonight at 21 points. You think we'll get any show time before we leave? Uh, I don't know. I think things are going to be pretty slow moving offensively here in these final 90 seconds as that ball gets deflected out of bounds. Last touch by Elijah Williams. It'll stay with Don Bosco. Shout out to all the media covering on the baseline. You know, I used to do that until uh, Nate Pierre fell into me one day. <laughs> and Nate Pierre, you know, he's not a big dude, but he's a solid dude. And I, I felt every, every bit of that. So I, after that, I, I stayed up here and approached. Gregory Reyes in for Alex Masung. 
His afternoon is done as well as Mensa gets it on the turnaround. Can't finish off the window. The big man puts it back up. Asparilla with two field goals here in the fourth quarter. I don't know. We might see some Asparilla wins there. Will certainly be a big challenge against the Roselle Catholic front court of Mackenzie oh. Mbaco as he has a rejection and then something to say to Javon Ramperts at. More subs coming in here for the Ironmen. Nicholas Zuppi comes into the game as does Sam Watkins as Mensa will sit down along with Malik Shepard. I know people think it's great to be seven foot, but I wonder what are, what are some of his challenges and issues? What's the downside of being seven feet tall? There's probably a lot of them. I mean, you're great on the basketball court, but can't be that comfortable to sit in a car or yeah. a plane. One minute to go in the fourth quarter, one minute. I remember I used to take Nas Reed to school. I said, when you get your license, what kind of car are you going to get? He said, I'm going to get a Mercedes like you. <laughs> <laughs> Off the window, there's the finish for Sam Watkins. Sam Watkins. Checked into the game for the senior. Gets his name on the score sheet for Don Bosco. I saw on Instagram he just bought a car, so that means he finally got a driver's license. So congratulations, Nas Reed. Right. I didn't think he would ever do it. He's doing phenomenal with the Minnesota Timberwolves as that ball gets tipped out of bounds. They'll say last touch off Don Bosco. Yeah, doing great Or they'll things. say last touch off Hudson Catholic. Excuse me, it'll go to Don Bosco. But imagine the Ironmen are just going to dribble this one out. 20 seconds left to go here in the fourth quarter. 73-48 is our score. We'll stay live right here for the MVP presentation following the conclusion of this game. But it's going to be a Don Bosco victory against Hudson Catholic, 73-48 to to wrap up the 2023 edition of the NJ Challenge. Four outstanding games are in the books. And what an outstanding day we had here at Ramapo College. Riverdale takes down Glen Rock. Manasquan beats Rutgers Prep. Blair beats Ramapo. And now Don Bosco Prep. A victory over Hudson Catholic here in level. our nightcap. Once again, special thanks to Pat Lawless and all those at the front office, as well as everyone here at Ramapo College. Stand by as we will have our MVP presentation presented by the Shooter Zone. And once again, a reminder, the big game on Wednesday night, Don Bosco prep on the road against Roselle Catholic, 7 p.m. tip-off. And you can only watch that game live right here on D1 Media Pro. Hey, Kevin Conley, you are the real MVP. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, bring your attention to midcourt. Presentation of the game MVP presented by the Shooting Zone. And the MVP goes to from Don Bosco Prep. With 18 points, number one, Noah Barnett. So Noah Barnett with 18 points. Named as the game's MVP for Don Bosco Prep in their victory against Hudson Catholic. That's going to do it for us here from Ramapo College from Mustafa Hooten. I'm Kevin Connolly signing off from the 2023 New Jersey Challenge. Don Bosco a winner in our final game, 73-48 over Hudson Catholic. Ladies and Noah Barnett named as the game's egg. MVP. Time, See you next time, folks. Challenge. Remember, Wednesday night, we'll Don Bosco, Roselle Catholic, 7 p.m. Don't watch it only Challenge. live right here on D1 Media Pro. But he's going to take it himself for a championship. Oh. A, a double play wins it to Frazier. Turn it to the end zone. What a catch. The